It motivates millions of people to get out of bed every morning, including me. But while many of us consume the good stuff every day, what's it like for those brewing our favorite cuppa? Caught up with coffee experts Debbie Main and barista Salome Motlabi. I love my coffee. It helps me get out of bed in the morning, focuses my brain, and makes me really happy. I have three cups a day. I like them really strong with a little bit of milk. And I honestly believe that my love for the juice makes it taste even better. I'm with two ladies who love it as well, Salome and Debbie. They're baristas, and I want to know how you become one. Well, I joined Africa Black seven years ago. When I was training them, I didn't know anything about coffee. But because Africa Black is very flexible, they give us those chances to learn more. So I started to develop my passion. I was just a simple waitress. But then after that, I just faced my boss lady to ask if I can become one. Why did you want to become a barista? I mean, if you had nothing, if you had no knowledge of coffee, what was it that drove you? Know, you that there? smell of the coffee at Africa Black, everything, it's just coffee. Each and every conversation is about coffee. So, and we are making the best cup of coffee, still coffee. The latte art is amazing. They were always talking about the coffee saving the body, the coffee saving this and that. I'm like, I also want to learn art. And how do you become a barista? What is it that you have to learn and do? Well, firstly, you have to start with passion. So when we get any new person coming into the shop, we always say, you must hire somebody on passion, and you can always teach a skill from there. We've got a barista training center, and we've got three different levels. So your entry level is for somebody who knows nothing, and they're just going to come in, learn how to actually switch on the machine, let alone anything else. And then all the way through to the steaming of the milk and introduction into latte art. Then we've got a level two, which then focuses on what I would say would be your head barista. So now this is where we start to play with how many grams of coffee is going to affect the outcome of the actual cup and really get in depth into the flavors. And then we've got a level three, which is aimed at your competition baristas. And these are the competition guys that are going to learn how to roast their coffee, why they're roasting on different profiles, how it actually affects the end result, and then how to present it to them. How long does it take to become a good barista? Is it a, a lifelong game? <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes me three full months to become a good barista. Why? Because there's a lot of techniques that you need to go for. It's not like you just take a spoon and then put in a hot water and drink the coffee. So you need to know what is an espresso. You need to know how does the espresso extract to get the flavors. When do I stop the espresso? All those kind of stuff. And how many grams did you put? How many seconds of espresso did you need to extract? And how good is having a good nose and a good palate? Ooh. Ooh. It's a master. Ooh. <laughs> and your personality? How important is that? Personality when it comes to coffee. Mm. Well, coffee is completely different from one cup to the next, from one varietal to the next. So honestly, anybody can get into it. And we prefer somebody who's going to really sell the coffee to be behind the counter. But if you're in a bad mood, can you make a good cup of coffee? Ooh, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> might not be, no, might not taste too good. And, so, and what do you learn about, I mean, when you're learning coffee, what do you learn about um, how you should be grinding the coffee, what are those sort of tips that you need to look out for? So every brewing method needs a different grind method, well, a, a different grind size. So the rule of thumb is the longer the brew method, the course of the grind, because the longer it sits in the water, the more time the water has to actually get into the coffee grinds and extract the flavor. Now, what you'll do is you'll work on a rule of thumb for each of those. So like for your plunger is four minutes, for your espresso is 30 seconds. Now, this is where you start to tweak it according to the coffee because every coffee is different. So you might extract one at 28 seconds, one at 22 seconds, and you find that sweet spot. And it's only with playing and practice that you'll find it. And what's the ultimate goal for a barista? <laughs> Winning barista champs, <laughs> going to represent South Africa. And how does South Africa do? How do we compare as an industry? Well, I think one of the highest we've ranked so far is 15 in the world. So we're getting there. You know, our industry is a lot younger than other places that, such as in Europe and Central America. But we are getting there. Every what? year we get a little bit better. What makes a good coffee and how can I be my own 
barista at home. Actually watching the coffee, looking at it, seeing how the coffee is extracting. Don't work on the rules, listen to what it's telling you. So if it's trying to blonde, if it's trying to pale, then stop your shot. The coffee has given you everything it can give you and that's when you've got the, the sweet spot. And how does a good cup of coffee make you feel? You feel amazing the whole day, even if someone is trying to tease you, as long as you had the good cup of coffee, you still feel good. You feel love. You feel love. Mm. <laughs> in your skin, yeah. Just make me a cup of coffee. <laughs>